The last rotation rasqueado in the series is the PCI or PAI rasqueado. This is a variation of the PAMP rasqueado that I talked about in the previous video. I'm Diego Alonso from DiegoAlonsoMusic.com and today I'm going to do a close-up of this particular technique and give you some exercises to make sure that you practice it the right way. If you remember back from the introductory video that I made on all rasqueados, the PCI or PAI rasqueado looks like this. So once again, let's do a close-up, break it down, and add in some exercises to make sure that you're practicing this the right way. For this drumming pattern, you want to make sure, once again, that you're rotating from the forearm. So think doorknob, but you want to, again, make sure that you've got some flexion, some light flexion in the wrist. Not too much. I'm not forcing this, just relaxing. Uh, obviously, if there's flexion, there's no extension, never extension, right? And then, again, make sure that you're minimizing any ulnar deviation. So that's this bending sideways. Right? We want to pretty much avoid that. So once we have that in place, now we can rest our arm on the string. You can rest your bicep if, you, if it's comfortable, your for, uh, kind of the forearm near the elbow. Whatever's comfortable, make sure your lower back is straight, comfortably straight. You're not hunching at the upper back, hunching at the neck. Right? Just be really, really comfortable. So once again, rotation with a little bit of flexion. This rotation is identical to the one that we did uh, in the video that I made on P-A-M-P. Make sure you're going up. This one with the thumb, we're going to extend with C. You can also extend with A if that's preferable. I would recommend practicing both. I use both. So up with P, extend with C, and then down with rotation using I. So P, C, I. P, C, I. Notice when I extend with C, my hand is steady. I'm not doing this. I don't want to go down because the eye finger needs to stay above the sixth string. It needs to stay up here in order to get that final rotation movement. So P up, C, and I. Just like before, we want to first practice each individual movement and then start to combine them. So first, P up. We're going to do that uh, to count in threes. We're going to do it on the one. So for example, one, two, three, one, like that. Okay, let's try it together. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Okay, stay there, right? If you uh, stopped and reset, do it again. Hold that position. Now we're going to extend C. Try it first with the pinky. It's a light extension. Notice from this angle, I'm not fully extending. I'm not doing that, right? That's actually really hard to do. Just a light, very light flick against the strings, trying to get as many strings as possible in there. So first practice that by itself, right? Very, very lightly. Stay light. It's not a loud or hard movement. It should be very light. Okay, let's practice that together. One, two, three, extend. One, two, three, extend. Notice at the end of my extension, my finger's relaxing. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, extend. Make sure to relax. Okay, finally, the last movement, I'm in position. I'm gonna go down with the eye finger. I need to get the eye finger out just a little bit more to make sure that it's hitting the string by itself, not the other fingers. And then I'm gonna go down with the eye finger. I need to get my thumb a little bit out of the way for that to work. So I'm going to do that like that, but with a snap. Okay, as if I were lighting a match, my index finger is a match, I'm lighting the match on the strings. Okay, so one, two, three, down with eye. One, two, three, down with eye. Now let's combine. We're going to go P, C. All right, one, two, three, P, C. Relax. One, two, three, P, C, relax, okay? Now we're gonna do C, I, ready? Starting up here, this is where we ended before. So you wanna start here, one, two, three, C, I. One, two, three, C, I. So the last one is gonna be I, P to get us back to the start, okay? We ended with P, C. Now we're gonna do I, P. So here we go, one, two, three, I, P. One, two, three, I, P. Remember you're doing rotation with I. Okay, let's do three of them. So P, C, I. Ready? One, two, three, P, C, I. One, two, three, P, C, I. Now let's do something a little different. Start up here and you're, after you do the P movement, now do C, I, P. Ready? One, two, three, C, I, P. One, 
two, three, C, I, P. Now, of course, we can try another one. Let's try I, P, C. Okay, start here. One, two, three, I, P, C. One, two, three, I, P, C. As you get comfortable with this, go a little bit faster. I would recommend practicing this with different accents on each movement. So, for example, one, 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 two, three. Maybe start with C. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Start with I. One, two, three, one, two, three. As you get better, you're going to get a more rhythmically even sound. It'll get faster and it'll sound really good. And if you like this video, then you're definitely going to want to check out the next one in the series where I start to break down the extension contraction rasgado, starting with this one, which is the I, the index finger technique for the right hand. Of course, if you haven't seen it already, check out the introductory video that I made for the nine rasgados here just to get an overview of everything and hear them in action.